Evolution was our best car. Kind of like a savage beast. Yes, it's carbon fiber, but at the end of the day, it will always be a 1970 Dodge Charger. In Los Angeles, California, Speedcore specialise in high-end custom performance cars. And their material of choice? The finest carbon fibre. What better way to show off the quality of their craftsmanship than a 1970 Dodge Charger with a full carbon body? Evolution was our best car that we've built today. When I look at muscle cars, I look at the styling, I look at the power and performance, but most of all, it had an attitude. The Dodge Charger is the car that the bad guy always drives. It's that character that we like. And it's not just about the body. Every detail of the evolution makes for an impressive build. We actually started with a Dodge Charger, redesigned, we scanned, we modeled, and recreated that same shape, but out of carbon fiber. The Dodge Charger has that mean persona to begin with. Using that as a donor car in conjunction with Dodge, who's one of our partners, seemed to be really good. When you have a car this large, you can do any power plant you want. So obviously we chose the Demon engine, which is the best line that Dodge has out right now. Amazing performance, it's got the largest supercharger. We took a Hellcat front end, we made our own supercharger parts, bigger injectors, a different fuel system. We're getting 966 horsepower out of it right now. Which must make for an impressive top speed. I don't know, we never tried it out yet. <laughs> we need to. I mean, I would say this car would do over 200. It's geared to do over 200. The Evolution obviously is extremely light. It comes in around 33, 3400 pounds. A Camaro back in 1969 would be closer to 3650. So I like to say that we're bigger than the Camaro, but lighter. We made the frame extremely strong out of steel. It's box steel. And yes, we run the fuel lines on one side and we run the oil lines on the other side, and that was a massive undertaking. So there's no plumbing under the car and there's no wires under the car and it's flat on the bottom. So that will help us when we do find out what the top speeds are. After winning the good guy's gold at the 2018 SEMA show, Evolution continues to rack up awards. Muscle car, it's always about being competitive, one upping the other person all the time. If you have 390 horse, the other guy's got to have 425 horse. Taking it to the next level of design and creativity, it's the little things that make the car. It's all about the details. Little things like the directional lights. This was something that Dodge did have in all the 1970 Dodge Chargers. And we wanted to keep the styling, but we wanted to change some of the lines. When someone looks at it, it looks better than it did in 1970. Also things like the hood pins. Dodge Charger ran hood pins as an option, and we wanted to recreate those same hood pins and the same styling that they did. A lot of companies try to eliminate wing windows. I like to actually embrace them. It was just a cool feature. One thing that's amazing about carbon fiber, not only is it strong, but extremely light. So having a charger hood itself, you would never be able to do this, and your hood hinges would be massive, and the springs that held them up were massive. We've saved about 1,000 pounds off of this car. The other thing about carbon fiber, which is amazing, especially on the fenders, is they don't dent or rust. If you look at a lot of the muscle cars and survivors over the years too, people lean on them and worked on them with their elbows and did all this. That doesn't do anything to carbon fiber. So it's a timeless piece. This means it's gonna last forever. A work of art, a killer spec, but what's it like to drive? We put about 860 miles on it so far. So it was really good. We haven't had any issues. The chargers of the 70s and late 60s were great for straight lines, but they were terrible for turning. So this car is made to handle. Suspension could be a little more stiff than what you would like, but you need that to have the control. And when you have that power, you want to make sure everything is you know, sturdy and you don't have to worry about it. 
the true definition of a muscle car is power under control. Kind of like a savage beast, but it's tame enough in the cage. I always make this reference. Maybe you were in high school and you had a girlfriend. You didn't want to see that girlfriend 10 years later have green hair and an earring and all this other stuff. You remember the way that she was maybe in high school and how she was your sweetheart. I think the same thing is true to these cars. Yes, it's carbon fiber. Yes, the wheels are more of a modern approach. But at the end of the day, it will always be a 1970 Dodge Charger.